So now we're familiar with the idea of duration, we're just going to go over and have a look at some general rules applying to the duration of bonds. So rule number one, which is really, I think, the simplest of them, is that the duration of a zero-coupon bond is equal to its time to maturity. So this is really intuitive and easy to understand. We know that the duration is the weighted average time until cash flows are received. Well, with a zero coupon bond, there's only a single cash flow. One cash flow, one time, the average of a single number, well, it's just itself. So obviously that's just going to be the time to maturity. So we'll move straight on. Rule number two. If you hold the maturity constant, a bond's duration is lower when the coupon rate is higher. So to get an idea of how this works, we can have a look at the formula for the duration of a bond. And we want to have a look at this part over here, actually. Take note of the fact that when the coupon rate is higher, the price of the bond is also going to be higher. So what happens over here is when the coupon rate goes up, this weighting attached to the N goes down. And remember the whole thing is just this sort of weighted sum or weighted average and we know that all of the weights add up to 1. So if this weight goes down, then we know that these weights, at least the sum of them, 